hello y'all and welcome back to my channel um this tutorial is going to be about doing shattered glass nails i've had this uh this stuff for about a week or so i actually thought it was nail foil but it's actually just like holographic nail sheets that you just kind of like cut up and then you can do the shattered glass uh nails um, I originally wasn't going to do a tutorial uh, because I was not sure how the stuff was going to turn out. I really have never used it before, so I wasn't too familiar. And as you can tell, it's going pretty good. This stuff is looking awesome. I just picked five different colors. So I'm down to my last nail. I have um, Swiss and Tell as the base. And I'm down to the blue. We're going to do blue together. Um, what I've been doing to get this stuff to stick really good, I've been using my nail foil adhesive glue. And it's been working really, really good. So what we're going to do is take the glue and you're going to paint the whole entire nail with your nail foil adhesive glue and give it about two minutes so it's good and tacky and while we're waiting for this to get good and tacky we're gonna cut up our little blue sheet here so how I've been doing these shatter glass nails is basically just like the mosaic nails. So you're just going to cut random little random pieces and I've been cutting kind of like little bit longer pieces to make them look more like my like glass versus um, like exact triangular pieces. They're more like um, abstract looking more jagged so it looks a little bit more like glass versus a mosaic and full transparency this stuff is very clingy so you're gonna it, it's messy you're gonna have it all over your hands and stuff so just so you know when you work with this stuff it, it's like very clingy and staticky and but it's fun it is super fun so I'm probably going to cut more than I need, but that's okay. All right. See, it's already, it's already sticking me. So just take your cuticle pusher and knock the stuff off. Okay. All right. Our glue is probably nice and tacking. So what I've been doing is taking the, the rubber end of the cuticle pusher and just picking up the pieces and it's been sticking to the end and then what we're gonna do is just start doing a pretty much a mosaic pattern and just leave a little bit of that Swiss and tell showing through All right, so we're gonna stick this one right there and I just use the the cuticle pusher to kind of push it down and then this one. You can kind of like pick and place them wherever you want. And if you go over your nail, um, your cuticle, that's okay because you can go back through with scissors later and kind of like trim off that little end. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this one right here. Thank you. 
the stuff I did get on Amazon, it was um, when I went down a, a rabbit hole and I bought a whole bunch of different nail foil. I had bought this thinking this was nail foil as well, but it turned out not to be nail foil, but it is just as cool. Just as cool. Let's cut this little piece. Turn this piece down. Try and get it to fit in that little, little hole that we have. There we go. We got more space here. Let me just push everything down just to make sure it does stick. That nail foil adhesive glue is it's pretty sticky. So it, it works really good. I've been happy with it. Like nothing, nothing is like jagged or anything. It's nice and smooth. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, what we're gonna go through and do is anything that's gonna be excess, you're gonna take your, um, I'm using curved acrylic nail scissors and we're gonna go through because these are nice and tiny so you can control the, the cut better versus going in with like just big regular, um, like just your regular household scissors. Trim and cut. All that excess off. Okay. All right. Now that we've got all the excess cut, I'm just going to go back through and just make sure everything is all down. So when you put your clear coat over it, nothing uh, lifts. Okay, now that we're done, and if you've seen my videos before, you know that my go-to is OPI plumping, but you can use the nail strengthener. Uh, I'm pretty sure clear as day would work. It's not something that I use, um, but you are more than welcome to, to try it out. Um, just with clear as day, because you are putting it over um, nail foil glue adhesive, Wherever you put that clear as day, you're probably not going to be able to lift it up to like reposition it. It's probably just going to stay like where it's at. All right, I'm going to put just one coat on here. So far, all I've needed is one coat on all these nails. And there you have it. And those nice little longer shapes really help make it look like that, that shattered glass. Looks really, really cool.